You hit your first serve super fast, amazing, and then the next ball comes right back at you so quickly and you can't do anything. If this is you, then this video is for you. Today, we are going to be going over tips and tricks on how to hit the next ball after your serve. So again, let me just show you guys. So this is what happens with too many players. They hit, they serve an amazing ball, boom, right? They kill it, and then their next ball, they hit in here and they get jammed up. They're either, they hit a defensive ball or they miss it. The reason why is because after you serve, right, you're going to finish into the court. But then you have to get out of the court. Too many players, they stand here. And if someone hits a good return or a normal return, a neutral return, look, I'm going to get jammed, right? The ball's going to come right to my feet. So after I am done serving, watch what I want to do. I want to serve, and then I am going to get back behind the baseline again. I'm going to serve one, two, and then back behind the baseline. Let's do it again. Here we are. So I'm going to serve one, two, back behind the baseline, so then I can hit the next ball. So next time you're on court, think that this part in front of the baseline around here, think of it as hot sand, right? You're on the beach right now, super hot. You can't keep your feet on the ground, right? You have to constantly move them. If you keep your feet, they're going to get burned, right? It's going to hurt. So watch, after I'm done, I want to get my feet out of the hot sand, right? This is cool, this is hot, right? I want to hit, boom, finish, and then back behind the line so I can get into a better position to hit. Now, you don't always have to go behind the line though, right? Because what can an opponent do if they hit a, if you hit a super good serve, what can they do? They can give you a short ball, so watch. If I choose not to go back behind the line, I can serve and watch, boom, and now what? Now I'm up to hit my next ball. Or I can take this ball as a ground stroke as well. So if you hit a good serve or if you're serving and volleying, you can hit and come forward too. What you can't do again is you can't just stand right here. That's not going to do anything for you. So after you serve again, you can just keep going forward if you're serving and volleying, okay? Make sure when you serve and volley, you serve on a good one, right? Because if you serve a slow ball and you try serve and volley, the opponent has so much time to pick any position. So again, we're either going to serve and then we're going to move up, or we're going to serve, we're going to hit, boom, and then get back behind the baseline. A great way to do it, and what I used to do with my coach, is think one, two, split, right? So I serve, boom, I finish, one, two, back split. Again, I'm going to serve, I'm going to finish, one, two, back split. Serve, finish, one, two, back split. So just do it, you don't even need a racket. Here, one, two, split. Serve, finish, one, two, split. Serve, finish, one, two, split. If you can get back behind the baseline or move forward after you're done serving, you will never have trouble with the ball right after again. Guys, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My goal is to give you guys simple, easy tips to implement into your game and see much better results and play much better tennis. Have a good one, guys, and happy hitting.